of gas. I'll be right back. Can I uh, start off, I guess? <laughs> All right, hey, how you guys doing this morning? Good, yeah. Hey, um, just give me, uh, you know, uh, just tell us who your characters are and uh, who you are, I guess, on the show. Uh, I play Sticky. Uh, I'm Seth Carr. Uh, Sticky's a little bit of a. He's kind of curious as a character himself. He's uh, more reserved, but uh, throughout the season, he comes to, he comes full circle when you can see his confidence show. Okay. I play. I'm Emmy. Uh, Emmy I'm Emmy Delavera. I play Kate. So she's um, she's sort of more the adventurous type. She's kind of like the. I think she's kind of like the muscle of the group. Yeah. Which is fitting because I'm really strong. Just knocking everybody over. <laughs> um, but she's she's like she she's like adventurous. She likes to do things on her own. She's pretty stubborn. She's she's really cool. Came from she uh, ran away to the circus when she was a kid. So she so gets super acrobatic now. Yeah. <laughs> Can I jump in and ask you a question together? Yeah. So I was looking up really quickly and, it, and I'm trying to have it said to me about that they don't have powers, but their intellect, creativity, and empathy are their powers. And what I'm curious about is those things, are they in relation in some way? Are you, I want to know the relationship of those, of those things. So, you know, so it talks about creativity, empathy, and intellect. And so I'm curious about how those are the three main ideas in it. How do those work together? Well. It's a, it's a weird and a big there, question. Those, but. like empathy and like intellective stuff sort of is the character superpowers. So I think that's like when people are like, they, they're, they're special and they have two powers. It's, it's, they talk about how the characters are like really empathetic or um, they can do like different types of things. Like you can, uh, uh, I remember yeah. like, I can remember like Sticky's character is really smart, so he can remember a lot of the things that uh, come up to him like when there's like hard questions, like that's that that's where Sticky comes into play or like when we need somebody to lead or like brave or somebody to do it that way, like that's when uh, um, Rainy comes in. His like thing is sort of, I think I think it's like yours is like empathy. So and the that. characters are those things more than anything else. Yeah. yeah. Okay, interesting. It's like yours is like intellect and then I think Rainy's thing is like, like like sort of like empathy, like yeah. like maybe like more of like a social smartness, I guess. I don't know. So Thank you so much. Really is, you know, such a loyal friend, but I'll be a reluctant hero. Right. Um, what's that like for you to portray it? And do you wish you had Sticky's eidetic memory? Um, yes, I feel like uh, having Sticky's uh, memory would come into play, like trying to memorize scripts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there has been a lot of late nights, but um, yeah, I feel like uh, Sticky's memory really, uh, really would be cool to have. And uh, playing Sticky, you know, when I first, first got the role, when I first started like memorizing lines and reading the first book and everything like that. I got more of an understanding, but as the second season, it's it's a little bit easier to portray because I had the first season to base off of. And with, you know, Kate, Kate's the Swiss Army knife, let's be honest. <laughs> At the end of the day, you are the Swiss Army knife because of the bucket. <laughs> Is the bucket bottomless? I mean, I don't know if, if I can say, like, there's a bottom of the bucket, but, um, are you familiar with D&D? Of course. You know, what, you know what a bag of holding? Yeah. <laughs> I would, I would say, I would like it into a bag of holding. What was it like also for you to get used to wearing the fucking part? It was, it was kind of a lot. We had a, the first season, we had a foam bucket, and we would wear that a lot. And that would be, so it's like, it looks just like a normal bucket, but it's, it was made out of foam, and it was like, so if I had to like run, or do something like that, it, I didn't have like the heavy, the metal bucket like hitting my leg. But it was, it was a bit of an adjustment. This season, the second season, we didn't use the foam bucket very much. I think it, honestly, I, I just like the metal one better. It's, um, yeah, sentimental. <laughs> it's a lot to carry. <laughs> yeah. My earrings? Oh, yeah, really Thank you. Were you guys familiar with, uh, familiar with the book before you got the role? Did you, after you got cast, did you decide to read it or did the producers tell you, you know, stay away from the book, let's stick to the script? Or? Um, 
I was I I had never I'd never read the books before. I'm sure that I had heard of them. When we got the script and we got everything, um, I had started reading the first book. We weren't like told directly not to read it, <laughs> but um, I didn't finish it when we, because I, I read like half of it. And we got the scripts and I wanted to just focus more. On it. Yeah, for me, I knew what it was before, like the books and everything. Um, but yeah, I after I got the word, then I read the first book. Uh, but yeah, after after that, because because the show it it kind of goes off it goes off in the book. So when you're trying to portray that character, it can be hard reading the book and like reading the script and trying to like pass those together. So. You don't want to get in your head. About yeah. It. Building on that, well, I mean, one of the things that fans really liked about the first season was it did. It was really true to the book. Um, and I mean, just hearing from what you guys are saying now, was there a pressure back to season two to continue that, or it was just, you know, you had greater freedom? Uh, I would say definitely pressure because, you know, from the first season and how good it was, we obviously do want to have that same level. Uh, but yeah, there. I feel like there is a little bit of pressure when it comes to like uh, making a new season and having it be just as good or even better. Uh, not only for the actors, but the producers, the writers, like the cast, like everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry, we have about two more minutes left. Alright, why are you jumping in you just, you just, that? Uh, just talking strictly season one, was it a favorite mo moment for your characters that you guys remember that just stands out for you? For me, I would have to say when I was in The Whisper uh, with Curtin, that was, that was cool. The whole set was cool in the scenes. Yeah. Oh, it's got to be one of the stunts. I, I can't. I, I can't like remember which one, but I love doing stunts. I loved all the stunts. Um, we had so many good ones in the first season. We have a really good one. That, this is my character. This is all four of us. We did a really good stunt um, this season, right, like sort of in the beginning. It's in the trailer, so I can talk about it. Okay. <laughs> but, um, it's it's not even really a stunt this show, but we were on a harness. It was when we were all holding on to like the rope in the trailer, you can see. Um, and we were all just like on harnesses, like right next to each other. Yeah, it's and pretty funny. It was yeah. just like hanging there, like bumping into each other. It's <laughs> just a normal day for you guys, yeah. right? We're all set. <laughs> And, and to piggyback on that, how, how much of the stunts do you actually get to do and when do the producers say, okay, let's, let's leave it to the professional stunts because this might be too dangerous? Um, I did a lot of my own stunts. It was, it, it's like, I had like a stunt person if it's like, for like specific stuff or if it's like every so often or like if I've been doing something for a while maybe I need like a break I think. Um, it was, we used my stunt person a lot in the first season. I don't, we didn't as much in the second season. It wasn't like any of the stunts were like I'm fighting someone or like um, dangerous stuff even really. So I'm mostly, it's just me on a harness. Yeah, uh, Sticky is a very safe character. Uh, he, does, uh, he doesn't really dive into those things but um yeah the probably one of the main stunts i did was just that for that the entire season but other than that yeah she's she's a stunt person <laughs> Right. Um, I have a quick question. How was, I know it, I watched, I couldn't tell if it was the 50s or 70s, it went back and forth, it seemed, couldn't tell the year, but how was it being in those worlds that are just looking like they were, you know, existed 40 years ago? And I'm noticing some really good vintage fashion, so I wonder if that is, if that was interesting to do that part. Um, well, I think this is just our own fashion, like outside okay. of it, it wasn't like on purpose, but uh, yeah, definitely portraying like such a vintage feeling like, in the shows, and you can definitely see like the colors and the co really from everything, the colors, the sets, really the really art. Really uh, it's it's really cool, and not really having a time frame. Yeah. I feel like that's what really like sets it apart from yeah. like, different shows. It's cool. It's like sort of like like being in this like show sort of set in this like ambiguous time period. And mm -hmm. it, it's really it was really cool. It felt like I don't know. Do you, cool. do you prepare to be in those worlds? Do you do some research? Or you just kind of take it as a comedy. Well, yeah, you, you can't really prepare for a time. There's, there's no time. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but it, it, yeah, overall it was cool. <laughs> Loved it. Yeah. Look, Thanks, welcome to the Disney family, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats on season two. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I love your Muppets tattoos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to say that. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Muppets family.